So then the NBA draft uh, in 2001 comes around. You get picked fourth overall, which is very, very high considering you're still fresh out of high school. Right. Yeah, man, you know, you're going crazy. against all these college dudes that have been, you know, <laughs> coming out of Duke and all these, you know, tier one schools. And here yeah. you are fresh out of high school, number four in the draft. Yeah. I mean, it was three of us, too. I mean, you got to think, like, the number one pick was a high school kid, Kwame Brown. Number two was Tyson Chandler out of high school. Number three was Pau Gasol. And then number four was me. So it was crazy, man. And honestly, I wanted to go number two because, like like, like I said, man, I wanted to I wanted to go play with the with the Clippers, man. I was, I was a huge fan of Q, and I was a huge fan of D-Miles and just the young. I feel like they really embraced those. Those young, those young guys there, man. I'm like, I, I want to go play with them. So, when I knew at the draft I wasn't gonna get get picked by the Clippers, my agent was like, man, you can go to um, you can go to Memphis at three, or you can go to Chicago at four. And I was like, I just go home. Um, so that's pretty much how I ended up going to Chicago. And Powell went to uh, to the Grizzlies. I mean, how did it feel, you know, to join the Chicago Bulls, considering you grew up in that area, and you know, Jordan it was just, you know considered the Messiah and, yeah. you know, the Bulls had just such an unbelievable run with, you know, six championships and so forth. Like, how did that feel? It was crazy. But, you know, at the same time, man, when you're that young, man, all you're really thinking about is, like, you just want to hoop, man. Honestly, like, I, I, I definitely understood the gravity of the situation. But at the same time, I was like, I'm ready to make a name for myself here. You know, I was excited that I was able to go home and, I mean, go from New York to going back home to, like, my family coming to the games and my friends and everything. But I just wanted to hoop, man. I wanted to try to, you know, make a name for myself as as, as fast as I could. That was really all I was thinking about. Okay, and how big was that rookie contract? What was it? Uh, maybe 14, 15 million, something, something like that. It was a okay. lot. Not, nothing like they're getting right now, but it was a lot for them, for sure. Okay, so here you are growing up in this family that's having to move around and so forth. Right. And suddenly, and you're what, 18 at the time? 17, 18, yep. 17, 18 years old, $14 million. Yeah. You know, granted there's taxes and your agent gets some and everything, but there's still millions and millions left over after that. Yeah. That was crazy. I mean, I can't even really put it into words. But it it wasn't like that was why I was doing it, you know. But at at that point, man, you so like caught up in trying to be the best. Um, I was fresh off of like my feud with Tyson and all the other high school players trying to be number one. Um, I was fresh off of the draft and just trying to get acclimated to that. Like I really wasn't thinking about the money because um, as a kid, all you really wanted some some dope shoes and some dope clothes and stuff. I had all of that already. I was already getting stuff from Nike and everything like before that. So I was like, to me, I had already made it. Um, it wasn't like they sent the money directly to me and I saw just all that money sitting in my account. I had a, you know, an accountant and stuff like that. I immediately was on a budget. So it was like, it really kind of didn't hit me like that. I didn't even get a house right away. I got my mom a house, but I didn't even have a house right away. I ended up, get, I got a uh, Escalade and that was about it. Okay, so here you are, you're on the Bulls, and uh, Ron Artest is on the team. Right. Uh, Jalen Rose is on the team. Charles Oakley is on the team. Yes, sir. Uh, all three guys that uh, I interviewed at some point. Uh, so, but the rookie year for you wasn't really that big. You didn't really get a lot of time to play and so forth. Nah, man. Uh, I was playing behind Brad Miller and who's my guy. But, I mean, at the same time, I, I felt like, man, they really, uh, they really brought us along slow. Um, it was, it's totally different from how it is now. I think, I think, I think teams really play their young guys right away. Uh, for us, they really was not, they weren't trying to play us like that for whatever reason. I felt like we were ready. I felt like we showed them enough in practice, but they just weren't trying to. They were just trying to bring us along really slowly. Right, and at that time, Jordan was playing for Washington. Yeah. So I mean, how much of a, you know. The ghost of Michael Jordan, how much of that was really floating around the Bulls at that time? Oh, man, it was there. It was still there. I mean, you got to think, like, even the fans that we had at the game were there because they had already bought, like, season tickets to see Jordan play with the Wizards. To You know, like, it was, like, all our fans were there to see MJ. All our fans were there because they had already bought seats and had became season ticket holders for, from a couple years ago, a few years ago, so... Um, and it, they didn't make us feel bad about it. Um, it definitely didn't didn't help that we were losing 
like we were. But I mean, at the same time, they really supported us a lot. I mean, every single home game was sold out. It was it was packed. It was you just felt the love from from the city for real. We just wish that I, I wish personally I could have did you know more, especially in those early years. I mean, did you get a, pl- a chance to actually play Jordan at some point? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We played them. Um, I mean, I played a little bit. I just didn't play a lot at that time. I wasn't playing a lot. And then they would kind of alternate me and Tyson's minutes. Sometimes he would play more. Sometimes I would play more. Like not until I would say a, a few years in did they start playing us both. That we start like you know starting and you know really really making the team ours. Okay, so then the second season comes around, mm-hmm. and that's when you really get in your stride. Right. You actually led the NBA in field goal percentages. Yep, I took down Shaq. Shaq was uh Shaq was like always the guy that that, that pretty much always had the, the the field goal percentage and. I actually uh, won it that year. That was crazy. Right. 58.5. Yep. Uh, and actually, that's the first time that the Bulls actually got a major, you know, statistical category since Michael Jordan in, in 1998. Yeah, man. That was crazy. I didn't know. I mean, I didn't, I knew because they told me, but I wasn't, I wasn't shooting for it. I wasn't aiming for it. It wasn't, it just kind of happened. You know, I, sh- I had a lot of dunks. That's all I can say. A lot of dunks, a lot of layups. <laughs> 